Before using the oscilloscope, we need to calibrate the probe. Set the probe to 10 times mode. Make sure the oscilloscope is set to 10 times, same as the probe. Connect the probe to the calibration port. Then press auto. If undercompensation or overcompensation occurs, this is an example of undercompensation. Adjust it upwards. In this case, it's in an overcompensation. Adjust it down. Now we have completed the probe calibration. Before measuring, set the channel parameters tap CH1 enable display. Enable or disable bandwidth limit. Probe attenuation selection. Coupling method selection. Channel to CH2 uses the same procedure. Select the trigger channel. Trigger edge. There are rising edges, falling edges, and bi-directional edges. And the trigger mode. Set the trigger type. We select automatic trigger. After connecting the signal source, you can press auto for automatic measurement. Wait a moment to see the waveform. Manually adjust the time base and vertical sensitivity to shape the waveform. The voltage offset knob moves the waveform. Use the trigger control knob to adjust the trigger level and delay time. You can adjust the trigger level. A short press can switch to this selection. You can adjust the trigger delay time. Press cursor to open the cursor settings. Select to enable the cursor. Click the function knob to select the dashed line and rotate to move the cursor for measurement. Short press to switch between coordinate lines. Previously it was Y1, now it has switched to Y2. When switching, the top right corner will also display the current cursor line. The measurement values will show up in the top left corner. The display button opens the display settings. You can set the grid brightness, waveform brightness, grid type, waveform type vector and point, color temperature settings. Turning it on will show the color temperature effect. Waveform persistence. There's 2 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 50 seconds, or infinite persistence. You can also clear the afterglow. We select infinite afterglow. Press MES to open the measurement parameter settings. Supports 13 parameter displays. Can be turned on or off. Select parameter display individually. Short press save to save a waveform screenshot. You can select the image in the menu. Click the image to view. Press Math to open the calculation settings. Enable calculation. Select A and B signal sources. Select operator. Add or subtract or multiply or divide or invert or absolute value. The green waveform is the result of the operation. You can move the waveform using the function knob. A short press of 50 centers the channel position. Trigger level and time base are automatically centered. The trigger button opens the trigger settings. Select the trigger channel, channel to CH2 or channel 1 CH1. Trigger edge rising or falling or both. Trigger mode auto or normal or single. The run button starts or pauses the signal measurement. When paused, you can adjust the time base and vertical sensitivity to scale the waveform. Horizontal, enable or disable scrolling. Storage depth, 10 kilo, 100 kilo, 1 mega point selectable. 
vertical, enable or disable channel. Probe attenuation, one time, 10 times, 100 times selectable. Enable or disable 20 meters bandwidth limit. Coupling method, AC, DC selectable. Enable XY mode to generate Lissages figures. Convert the abstract frequency ratio and phase difference into a visual graph for analyzing the frequency relationship, phase difference, and phase coherence of two signals. Remove the probe to start calibration to quickly optimize the oscilloscope for the most accurate measurements. Enable USB sharing to connect the device to a computer via a data cable for exporting screenshots and firmware updates. Button test, enable button test. Test the status of the buttons. Change language. Adjust volume. Adjust screen brightness. Set auto shutdown time off 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour. We select off. Regarding, contains basic device information and company information. Factory restore settings. Press confirm for factory reset. It'll turn off when finished. Set the trigger mode to normal trigger mode. Select rising edge for trigger edge. Set the trigger level to 7 volts. Set the vertical sensitivity to 5 volts. Set the time base to 500 microseconds. Now, turn on the output of our signal generator. We can't capture the signal yet. So, we'll lower the trigger level. After adjusting it to here, we can capture the waveform. Adjust the time base again. Now it's capturing the signal normally. Raise the trigger level. It can't capture the signal again. Adjusting it down allows it to capture the signal. This is the normal trigger operation of the trigger mode. Press the single shot trigger button and wait for triggering. Set the vertical sensitivity to 5 volts. Adjust the time base to 200 microseconds for capturing. Set the trigger level to around 3 volts. Now, let's turn on the signal generator. This allows us to capture the instantaneous signal. But the signal is not very complete. One more time. Let's set the time base to 500 microseconds. Turn on the signal generator. Capture the waveform again. This will allow us to capture the complete waveform. This is single shot trigger. Multimeter function. To access the multimeter function, click this icon DM. Automatic measurement range. Connect the multimeter probes. In auto mode, it can automatically measure and identify components. AC voltage measurement. The reading shows 224 volts. Resistance measurement. The voltage range can measure DC voltage. Click the icon to switch between AC and DC voltage. Now measuring AC voltage. Switch to resistance range. Continuity test buzzer. Diode test. Capacitance test. This capacitor is 220 microfarads. The reading shows 198 microfarads. Current range. For low current, plug the red probe into the milliampere's port. Tap the icon to measure AC low current. For high current measurement, you also need to switch the red probe to the 10 amperes range. Tap the function icon to switch to AC high current measurement. Press DDs or tap DS on the screen to enter the signal generator. We can choose 1 kHz for the frequency. Set the amplitude to 3 volts. OK. Connect the probe to the signal output port of Gen. Then click Run. On the oscilloscope, click Auto. Switch the waveform to a square wave, triangle wave, DC signal, noise signal, half wave, Full wave. 
Positive step. Negative step. A total of nine types of signal waveforms are output. When we use a signal generator to output a signal, we can also use a multimeter to measure it. For example, we want to measure voltage. Switch to AC mode, then return. Now we can directly measure AC voltage. The reading will be displayed in the lower right corner. You can also measure other things, like capacitance. The reading shows up at the bottom right, 